Like Tech, today I'm teaching you how to create a time-lapse video file out of a sequence of time-lapse photos using Adobe Photoshop. If you don't have Adobe Photoshop, you can download it via my affiliate link below. And if you don't know how to time-lapse, you can download my free ebook down below as well. Let's begin. Open up Photoshop and go to File, Open. Navigate to your time-lapse sequence, which must be sequentially named, as you can see, for four well, I'm so confused because that was not sequential length. The first one here, 3995, 3996. Anyways, Photoshop will automatically recognize that this is a sequence if they're numbered uh, alphabetically or chron uh, chronologically, you know, in number sequence. And then you got to tick this box here as an image sequence. You only select the first photo, you hit this little check box, whatever you call it, and then you click open. And then you have to set your frame rate. I'm in the UK, so most of the things around here are at 25 frames per second but you can set a custom one or grab one of the presets. I'm just going with 25 because that's how I've been operating for a very, very long time. Now, this is the aspect ratio and the size of your image sequence. These photos are 3000 pixels wide, which is too large for what I want to do. I want to make this a 16 by nine full HD. So 1920 by 1080 pixels uh, video file. So what you do then is you go to image and you go to canvas size and then you put in your desired size. Could go 4K as well, but whatever. Ignore this, just hit proceed. Now hit Command T, hit convert, and resize your shot to fill the frame, hit enter. And now how do we make this, like how do we know this is video, you know, because there's no timeline. Well, surprise, there is a timeline if you go to window and select timeline and then boom you have uh, a video timeline here if you hit play it plays back very slowly because it's generating a render but yeah this plays back now a little extra tip little add-on tip uh, if you want to zoom in or move the footage around you can hit command t then you can open up this video group here and with the first frame with the playhead on the first frame you hit the chrono icon here which generates a keyframe, that little diamond here at the start, drag your playhead to the last frame and click that diamond here, then hit Command T, and now you can zoom in, whoa, that's a lot, you can zoom in like that, hit Enter, and now if you scroll through, you will notice that this slowly zooms in. How's that? Now, some bad news. Normally, you would go to File, Export, render video. For a lot of people, the next step does not work. And it has not worked since 2017. I've got a thread underneath this video on the Adobe support or the community forum, where people to this day are still commenting on the fact that the next step here does not work. Photoshop just freezes. Some people have found workarounds that you can test out. I've tried a bunch. I can't get it to work, but I'll show you a solution. Um, but you need another app for that, which is, you know, defeats the whole purpose. But so if you're one of the lucky ones, you can copy these settings that you see on screen, hit render, and you'll have a time-lapse video that plays back and looks pretty and is nice. Now, if I hit render now, I'll show you what happens. Um, nothing happens. This thing keeps spinning around until I quit Photoshop. Now, how do we um, make a video? Well, if you have Premiere Pro or After Effects, you'll have Adobe Media Encoder as well. And so to generate that video file from what you've done in Photoshop, which defeats the whole point, because why would you do it in Photoshop if you have Premiere Pro or After Effects, which are far superior for this. Uh, anyways, I'm showing you how to use Photoshop here. So use the Photoshop file, click and drag that into Adobe Media Encoder, and then choose a preset. I've gone with YouTube 1080p Full HD, and then hit the play thingy here. And that's it. That's how you generate um, a video file from time-lapse photos in Photoshop. And if you're unlucky, you will need Media Encoder as well. So do me a favor and do check out that thread. And if you're encountering the same issue, drop a comment in that thread. So hopefully the Adobe developers can uh, finally fix this issue because it's a bit annoying. Um, but yeah, that's what I wanted to show you today, how to create a time-lapse using Adobe Photoshop. If you have any video requests or questions or whatever, drop it in the comments down below. Thank you so much for tuning in, and I shall see you hopefully on the next video. May the clouds forever be in your favor. Bye-bye.